So pretty much ever since online video content has been a thing, there's always been a demand for fight videos, public freakout videos, and ratchet moments caught on camera. Just leave, he's not gonna want to. Dude, yes! 70 for a dime, it's the only he place can. I can go. Mikey! Today I'm going to be talking about a 2014 video that's pretty much all three of these categories or genres tied together in one nice little package. One might say this is the internet's most fondly remembered gardening disaster caught on film. I'm talking about the Shovel Girl incident. This was a video popular on both Vine and Twitter which showcased two girls getting in an altercation which resulted in one of them getting whacked upside the head with a shovel. I'm sure many of you are aware of this video. But have you ever wondered what the story behind it was? Why were these two girls in a fight in the first place? And what happened to the shovel girl after getting TKO'd by the aforementioned excavation tool? And what happened to her assailant? Today I'm going to tell you all the story of the shovel fight video, the start, the finish, and the aftermath. This story begins on May 4th of 2014 in Ohio's Bethel Township at the residence of Emily Olinger. Sometime during this day, Miranda Fugate arrived to confront Emily after the two had an argument of sorts on Facebook over a boy they both had a love interest in. Miranda and Emily bickered for some time with both girls name calling and deriding each other back and forth. It quickly escalated into a shouting match, and other teens would descend on the location to witness the drama. At one point, a friend of Miranda, 14-year-old Josh Officer, pulled out his phone and began recording the confrontation. And not long after, things would get physical, resulting in the now-famous clip of Miranda wearing pink getting smacked by a shovel-wielding Emily wearing black. The video ends with Emily returning to her residence and Josh Officer helping a stunned Miranda to her feet. Miranda would then leave the Olinger residence with her friends, her physical condition at the time being unknown. Not long after this incident took place, Josh Officer would upload this nearly 8 minute long fight video to the internet, and there it would go viral on sites like Facebook, WorldStarHipHop.com, and pretty much everything else in between. Initial viewers of this video fixated on the shovel smack portion of the clip, and thus the video itself was dubbed the shovel fight. Right behind the internet gawkers came the conventional news media. TV news outlets picked up on the clip, and this altercation between two girls became a national news story eliciting reactions from all sides of the spectrum. <laughs> Ouch! People are still talking about that viral video. It's going viral on Facebook and Twitter. I think these girls are so misguided. I imagine you would show your daughters this is what you don't do yes. in life. Yes. And if you want to be called Shovel Girl, then you can go live with another family. It's the video grabbing the nation by storm. Parents we spoke to are just disturbed by the video itself. I thought it was wrong. I thought it, they should have handled it in a better way. You profited from this, right? You sold it. Yes. 600 bucks. Yeah. How do you feel about it now? I regret filming it. I regret re going to the fight and uh, not stopping it, selling it. I regret everything about it. I, I don't think you should have done it. I sure don't think you should have sold it. Of course. I think if you were any kind of friend, you would have kept these two girls that you knew both from getting in some stupid fight. And I think bystanders who do nothing to protect the victims are as guilty as the bullies that do the bullying. Days later, Miranda, or the shovel girl as she was now being called by the internet, was contacted by the news media where she updated everybody on her physical condition. Um, I still have a concussion right now and my, uh, there's blood behind my eardrum and I think I have to have surgery on my ear because I think they broke some like, I don't know, something. The fight was not staged at all. I did not have any plans to get hit in the head with a shovel or any plans for the video to go viral. The media would also get into contact with Emily where she shared her side of the story to an Ohio news outlet. I told her to leave again and she refused. So then the first thing I saw was my shovel. I picked it up and then she said, okay, okay. And by the time she said she was done, I already hit her with it. I've been bullied ever since I was in the fourth grade. And that's why I hit her with the shovel because I'm tired of it. 
Despite the testimonies from both parties, the county sheriff's department wasn't taking sides on this matter, and after being made aware of the video, charged both teens with disorderly conduct. Neither Miranda or Emily ever served any jail time from the charge, though the two were reportedly given a court order which forbade them from communicating. This, of course, being an effort to avoid any future altercations. Now, law enforcement may have remained unbiased in terms of guilt in this situation, but the internet had a completely different take on the matter. It was quickly becoming clear that online sentiment was disproportionately in favor of Miranda the Shovel Girl. She was very much active on her Twitter account and played into the Shovel Girl memes that had surfaced online. Emily, on the other hand, wasn't treated as kindly by the internet. She became the target of vicious threats for some time after the video's viral spread. This was only made worse after a fictitious news article made its rounds on Twitter which claimed that Miranda died from her shovel-induced head injury. With few fact-checking the rumor, it sort of became a widely accepted fact. Emily was receiving threats on a daily basis in regards to the video and her actions in it, and she found life becoming a living nightmare of sorts. She reflects on the aftermath of the shovel fight video when she went on Dr. Phil with her mother in 2015. Emily has had over 2,000 death threats. A lot of people were making fun of me on Twitter, calling me names. They said I should get hit by a shovel because it wasn't fair to her. I can't talk to anybody about anything because they say, are you going to get the shovel? After Emily's appearance on Dr. Phil in 2015, she has seemingly disappeared from the public eye, likely finding the constant negative attention online unbearable. Nobody really knows what has happened to her. But we do know what has happened to her adversary, Miranda the Shovel Girl. In May of 2015, approximately one year after the Shovel Girl story, a Dayton, Ohio news station caught up with Miranda. What they found was that in addition to the disorderly conduct charge, Miranda, as part of her punishment, was also placed in a juvenile court drug rehabilitation program. Apparently, she had been struggling with drug addiction around the time of the fight, and this program helped her get clean and in many ways turn her life around. And this is her today. It was a really, really big wake-up call. I was going down a really bad path, and I was really close to either overdose, getting in a car wreck, and shot anything. And without Judge Capizzi, I don't think I would be here today. And I see them grow from 13-year-olds to 16-year-olds, and, and they're like part of my own family. So. so to see them succeed is, is really important. Much like Emily, Miranda disappeared after 2015. But as I said earlier, we actually know what happened to Miranda. And this is because in January of this year, she surprised everyone when she uploaded a reaction video of sorts to the original Shovel Fight video on her newly created YouTube channel. In this video, a now adult version of Miranda gives viewers various updates on her life and reflects on the video of herself. Hey guys, so I decided to finally de break down the Shovel Girl video and I'm really nervous about it because it was a really awkward video for me and it was about five years ago and then I was about 14 and <laughs> it was just really awkward, really stupid and really lame point in time in my life and I really never wanted to have to make this video breaking it down but I've had messages from all over the world. People like Snoop Dogg has shared this video. It was talked about on Family Guy, Tosh.0, Dr. Phil. And right after that happened to me, I had to go away for nine months in treatment and wasn't allowed on the computer for 13 months. So I never really got to put my own spin and tell everybody how I felt about it. Some of the questions that I've gotten have been like, do you still talk to the girl? Are you and that girl still friends? No, I do not still talk to that girl. I mean, that girl will probably never be friends, to be honest. She smacked me in the head with a shovel. I shattered bones in my skull and had a severe concussion for six months. We're probably never going to talk again. <laughs> Just saying. In the beginning of the video, we were talking about what had happened and why it went down. It went down because she was dating this guy in my school at the time. We were never in the same school. And me and him started talking and dating, and he wanted me to call her and tell her that they were over. Well, she ended up harassing me on Facebook after that for like a year or two. And would not leave me alone, constantly telling me she wanted to fight me, constantly telling me that she hated me, calling me all types of names like hoes and bitches and whores. And so eventually I finally just fought her. Dude, how could you hit her with a shot? I beat her ass though, so it's okay. So, yeah, exactly, so. She did not get one hit on me. Oh my god, why did I say that? 
Oh my god, why did I say that? Why did I say that? Maybe that's why I've never talked out about the video, to be honest. I didn't even want to have to explain that. I grew up in life uh, after that and was just like, damn, I really don't even want to have to explain that. Um, I'm 20 years old now. I'm from Dayton, Ohio. I'm very much alive. I can still hear. I can still do everything. I'm not mentally retarded. I want to get into modeling and I want to be an actress. Right now I work at a packaging company. I live in this apartment, like I said, that I bought with my boyfriend. And I just live and chill and live a normal life now because I never really got to go on Dr. Phil or like say my side of it. But I guess if you guys want to see more of me, let me know. I'm going to leave my Instagram and the thing below and my Snapchat. So follow me on all my stuff and hopefully I'll be making more stuff and stuff. <laughs> Bye. Peace. And that's really the last development in the Shovel Girl slash Shovel Fight story. In conclusion, I'd say the outcome of this situation could have been far worse. Say Miranda really did get seriously injured or even killed from the shovel to the head, and then Emily had to go to some juvenile detention center for assault or even murder. It really could have ended terribly, and I'm glad that that wasn't the case. Ultimately, this whole situation just resulted in an entertaining media circus online and offline. Moral of the story here is uh, everybody has embarrassing teenage moments. Just be glad that yours wasn't caught on camera and made viral on the internet. But anyways, what did you guys think about this video? Let me know down below in the comment section and let me know who or what you want me to talk about next. Want to give a major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.